Hey everybody, in today's uh, episode and vlog here today, I want to just talk to you for a few minutes today about uh, the subject of passion. Passion. It's coming right up. You know, there are many different kinds of passions and things for passion and stuff, and here I am at a at a park, and so this is obviously one kind of passion, uh, but there are other kinds of passions. Uh, there are kinds of passions of sports. There are kinds of passions of of love and and things of that nature and stuff. But today, I want to talk to you not about those things. I want to take those things shh, take those things out of your mind just for a minute today. But I want to talk to you today about passion for the kingdom of God, passion for God vertically and horizontally for mankind. And so it's a huge part of the kingdom of God. Many people think that their entire spiritual life is just all vertical. And they don't realize that your spiritual life, according to 1 John, John said it like this, if you don't love, then he says all the rest is negated. You know, and so if we don't have the spirit of love for other for mankind, it's absolutely essential. And so I believe that God is a God of passion. The Bible says this in the book of Mark. It says it like this. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, one, all your soul, two, all your mind, three. And then he throws in the whopper that just changes the whole dynamics. He says, and with all your strength. Now in the Greek, it says it like this, all your violent energy, your violent energy. So God is looking for energy. He's looking for passion. Ah, there it is. So God is looking for passion. You know, in this day and age, in this hour that we live with so much uncertainty and everything else and stuff, People are reflecting. People are thinking about these things. They're thinking about their life. They're thinking about their passion for one another, their passion for God, their passion for life. And uh, people with money, people in prominence, uh, poor people as well. Everybody's thinking about those things. And that's where religion is one of the biggest farces, one of the biggest crippling things there is in the church, religion. Why? Because it says that you can have the kingdom of God with no passion. That you can do the work of the kingdom with no passion. That you can love the Lord with no passion. It's just form that God is looking at. When that is not in actuality the case. And that's why I believe that Jesus chose 12 guys that were busy. Who was he looking for? He was looking for people with passion. He was looking for somebody with passion that would go forth and do something. He was looking for people that were busy. He didn't find John the bum. He didn't find James, the guy who just, you know, uh, is just, you know, wandering around looking to play video games all day. No, he was looking for 12 guys that were busy. Ah, they were busy. And they weren't only busy, but they were passionate. Ah. You know, much can be said about Judas, but you know, Judas was a zealot. And so he was looking to overthrow Rome. And so, and Jesus saw enough in Judas that he said, I want you to be one of my 12. What was he looking for? He was looking for a man with passion. So what is God looking for today? God today, God today, what is he looking for? He's looking for us to walk in passion. So that's my prayer for you today is to walk in passion. Don't do things halfway. Don't do things half-hearted. Do things with all your might. The Bible says, whatever you do, do as unto the Lord, right? Love the Lord with all your heart. If you're going to do it, do it, right? Uh, I'll tell you a funny story kind of in closing here. Uh, when uh, my son was traveling with us, he was a young teenager. We were ministering in Pennsylvania, and he said, Dad, can I go out and play with the kids, play basketball before church? I said, yeah, but just make sure you're in here on time. So he went and played basketball, came back in. They were all sweaty, all the kids from playing basketball. The boys were showing off for the girls and stuff. So they all came back in, and they were sitting in the back row. And I looked back there during the worship, and all of them had their heads down, sweating, and their hands hanging on the pew in front of them, just with their heads down, no passion. They were only there in body. 
their spirit was still back on the basketball court. Their mind was still back on the basketball court, but their carcass, their body, was sitting there. That's like many people in the church today. Their carcass is sitting there while their spirit and their soul are elsewhere. So don't live life like that. I told my son, I said, after the service, I said this. I said, we, get, we don't give the world our best and give God our leftovers. We give God our best and the world our leftovers. And let that be a lesson to you. Hey, do us a huge favor right below me. Hit subscribe. And not only subscribe to our YouTube channel, but also click like. Give us a thumbs up. Check us out on uh, Facebook. Uh, look for Tom Scarella Ministries. And lastly, uh, go to our website, sharethefire.org. We've got some great things coming up. We've got a webinar coming up. I think it'll be a blessing to you as well. Love you guys.